Greetings, I'm Roy Buell, former mayor of Dubuque, Iowa. It is a tremendous honor to be selected as an inaugural recipient of the All-America Leader Award. I first want to acknowledge and thank the National Civic League and all those responsible for creating this recognition to celebrate the work of civically engaged community members and leaders. I recently retired after 26 years as an elected member of Dubuque City Council with the first 10 years as a ward representative, followed by 16 years as mayor. I'm humbled to have earned the distinction as the longest serving mayor in Dubuque history. Dubuque is Iowa's oldest city. With the commitment of a dedicated team of city council members, city staff, key community leaders and partner organizations, Dubuque experienced an amazing transformation over the last 30 years. Imagine a city in the 1980s facing economic devastation that produced 24% unemployment and the loss of almost 10% of our population. And fast forward to Dubuque today, a city that is progressive and resilient with a diverse economy, social cultural vibrancy, robust infrastructure, and a leader in its commitment to environmental integrity and a sustainable future. Through the can-do spirit of Dubuque citizens, I'm privileged to share that during my tenure as mayor, Dubuque was named an All-America City five times in just 12 years, from 2007 to 2019, which I am told is unprecedented in the history of the All-America City Award. In 2007, we were selected for our America's River Project, Downtown Master Plan, and the Crescent Community Health Center. In 2012, we were recognized for our plan to ensure more children become proficient readers by the end of third grade and are prepared to succeed. In 2013, our application highlighted our veteran-oriented programs, workforce development efforts, and revitalization of the historic Millwork District. In 2017, we received the award for the Dubuque Campaign for Grade Level Reading Proficiency to help all our young children learn the skills needed for success in school, regardless of their family's income status. And in 2019, we were named an All-America City for our Inclusive Dubuque Initiative, Imagine Dubuque Comprehensive Plan, our Community Health Impacts, the Bee Branch Creek Restoration Project, and the Dubuque Eats Well Coalition. Essential to that success has been this. In Dubuque, citizens park their politics to come together around good ideas to make them happen. Personally, it has been a tremendous privilege to serve in elected office for 26 years for a community that gave so much to me and my family. Dubuque is my hometown, and it was in 2005 when I announced on the steps of my childhood home my intention to run for the office of mayor. It was this home in the North End working class neighborhood of Dubuque that my mother and her seven children moved to live with her parents, my grandparents, when our father abandoned our family. I was just 18 months old and my younger brother was just an infant at the time. My mother and grandparents worked hard and the organizations in Dubuque like the Salvation Army opened my childhood eyes to what it meant to experience the unity in community. Even though we had little in the way of material possessions, I was rich. The most important lessons I learned growing up was loyalty to family and loyalty to community. My life experiences and those of others I met along the way became my motivation for civic engagement. And while public service is not always an easy path, and it is clear you simply cannot please everyone all the time. In the final analysis, it is about leaders doing the right thing for the common good. I trust that my experiences and time in local government will exemplify how ordinary people can work together to accomplish extraordinary things. Each and every one participating in the All-America City Awards are winners, and so are your communities. You have identified challenges and are working to resolve them. I remain immensely thankful for the opportunities to bring together citizens and partner organizations here and beyond to define a sustainable path forward for my community and to turn meaningful ideas into reality. And it is a genuine honor to be an inaugural recipient 
of the All-America City Leader Award. Thank you.